We are a professional membership organization comprising individuals, institutions, uh, partners from the public and private sector, keen to see universal adoption of clean cook stoves and fuels, and specifically 10 million of them by 2020. CCAK uh, gives us a bigger platform uh, than we are as a single organization where we can advance our, our clean cooking agenda. That would ultimately contribute to having as many people as possible adopting the clean cooking solutions. Previously, we, we had corporate and, and individual mainly. Right now, we've uh, broken it down. So we have corporate, um, we have NGO, we have INGO, we have CSO. We have individual members, we have student members, we have honorary members. UDRI is 80% of Kenyans use biomass for cooking, but out of that only about 46% are using creek cooking technologies. So if I had uh, use of inefficient technologies, this to help impacts, it also has impacts on uh, environment and climate change, and this leads to global warming and uh, major effects on our major climates. So where CCK comes in is that it mobilizes all those stakeholders. They help us get partners who are in the private sector, NGO, civil society, because in this cooking space, they are main actors. So, so CCK comes in the gap so that it brings these stakeholders together. They lobby the government on what they need. To me, it is very important that this particular cooking device is user-friendly, so that you can cook uh, without any problems, ugali like you used to do on the on the, tradi on the traditional fire. That it's user-friendly, that it's robust, that it's affordable. I joined the CCAK um, about three years ago, but then um, from 2016, I started having problems in uh, in my sector. One of the issues was that uh, was taxation. There is a partnership between CCAK and Capsa. Through that partnership, um, they approached. Uh, various departments of government and uh, eventually the import duty was removed. Once the duty was removed, I passed on that benefit to the consumer. So first of all, you get access to networking op opportunities and uh, meetings. We have several working groups. At the moment, we even have one on policy and advocacy. We also create markets for our members. We give them training opportunities, provide a platform for them to air their grievances. And by creating an enabling environment, what, what we mean is that we lobby for our members to ensure that um, we get um, issues dealt with on time and properly. CCAK has been able to market our products in their website and the, when they get customers who are mainly interested in domestic or institutional cookstoves, we are the first actually to, to be conducted. In this institution, we used to use those jikos. They're ordinarily jiko. It was quite uneconomical to the school because one bag of the charcoal was going to almost 2,000. Now, when I compare it with now the current jikos that I'm using, well, even if anybody gets to the kitchen anytime, there's no smoke. It's quite economical because you just use very few pieces of wood and the githeri is ready within a very short time. When you want to champion for change in anything in this country, you must involve stakeholders. And CCK is a one-stop shop where you can get all the stakeholders there. It's easy to champion a cause without leaving anyone behind. The membership lasts for a year. There's a form you fill. So you can get it from our website, uh, ccak.or.ke. Once you fill the form, you'll be required to pay a membership fee. And once you pay that, you now get access to CCK activities. And a knowledge management kind of framework you'll be able to get into, which will provide you with a lot of resources on clean cooking globally and locally. You can visit us. Our offices are in Kirdi, that's in South Sea off Popo Road. You can get information from our social media, that's the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the website of our global affiliate, that is the Clean Cooking Alliance. 
universal access to clean cooking can transform lives by improving health, protecting the environment, creating jobs, and helping consumers save time and money. I would ask everyone who's interested in clean cooking, whether you're in business, whether you're an NGO, or whether you're an individual with a passion, to join the CCAK. Then we create a coordinated approach, and this approach is one that would enable us to engage government and other stakeholders to create a very conducive market environment. We shall be able to contribute to the achievement of uh, SDG number seven on clean energy. So we invite everyone to join us in this uh, noble cause.